he finally opened up the door. One dog was right there beside him. He pushed the dog back inside, and then he came out with his with his hands with him with his hands down and made him turn around and exit the house uh, backwards. And now I understand that several dogs are being removed from the home. Yes, they yes they. They, when they went in, they got the, the I saw an interesting story about this earlier because earlier I've been following this all day. Earlier, um, earlier when this happened, um, let me see if I can find that 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 that, that, that um, story from earlier, man. Um, okay, here it is. This is earlier in the situ in the day. Still don't know exactly what's going on, but a very serious scene here. Three officers um, shot, non life threatening injuries. When did you get here? Can you tell us what you heard? Do you mind sharing any of that? Well, I I don't live too far. So I heard a lot of the, the sirens. That was concerning me. So um, at a point that the sirens didn't stop, I came outside to understand what's going on. I still don't know exactly what's going on but from my understanding whoever the person is that's causing all this commotion has not been caught so that's uh, yeah one of your neighbors shot three police officers so yeah it's a big it's a it's kind of a big deal sister um, well, <laughs> what are you thinking about right now as you, as you just uttered the words that you said person still not caught we know three officers are shot in this right i mean why why is this happening period um why did the individual feel the need to shot the police? Why were the police even at, in, in, around the individual? Um, just why? A lot of why's. And we had we were talking to a neighbor, a uh, couple, actually just a block down, who was saying, unfortunately, things like this happened in the area. Oh, for sure. But I will tell you this. Things do happen like this. Not necessarily the police getting shot, but people get shot. And when they do, we have never had the street shut down like this. We have never. That's wow. a fucking lie. What a... <laughs> that, that's a... That's a fucking lie. I the, I told you the other day when when, we had, when I had we had those two shootings when I first got here to this Airbnb. You couldn't move. You couldn't move your car. It was it was it. Now here's the thing though. This guy shot a cop and he's not in custody. So like, it's a little different, sister, because. When 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 the sun man shoots somebody and then they get away and then they clear the scene, yeah, they eventually clear the scene after like a few hours when the sun man shoots another sun man and the sun men run off into the night. Yeah, they eventually clear the scene. But this was three cops shot and the suspect is still not in custody and they know exactly where he's at. He's in a house on this block. So why would they leave? Why would they shut the scene down? It's like they 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 try so hard to find victimhood and everything that they don't even use their brains. <laughs> She's how many, trying uh, to find victimhood. Go ahead. How many brownie points does that uh, statement get her with her friends and family? Oh, a lot, yo. She, yo, I, I be telling y'all, DC is woke. The white people in DC are woker. If this would have been a white person, they would have said some crazier Stop shit. It. Oh, for sure. But I will tell you this. Things do happen like this. Not necessarily the police getting shot, but people get shot. And when they do, we have never had the street shut down like this. We have never had 100 police officers, okay, telling us we cannot leave the, and everything like that. This is just all the kids at school in the morning walking past seeing all these cops. We ain't never had this for our citizens who have got shot. So, yes, this is a matter for the police. They, they handle in their own. But this is frustration from you, clearly. Can I ask you, what do you think is the, the solution to what's been going on in the city? I mean, I think that the police really need to have a better approach. I'm not saying that citizens is nothing wrong with them and they don't do no harm because that, that is not true. But I, I do believe that the police need to have a better approach so that people understand when the police come, I'm not coming to lock you up. I'm not coming to harass you. I'm not. Well, hold on, sister. What, what You're if, committing a crime. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. What if you what if you my girlfriend and I sock you in your fucking eye and you call the police. They're coming to lock me up, babe. Like, what if I carjack you and you call the police? They're coming to lock me up. What if I snatch your purse and you call the police? What are you talking about? What is she talking about? 
<laughs> sisters are funny, man. Right, sisters are. And when you hear this, you you can understand why a guy like Usher would be like would marry a white woman during Black History Month. <laughs> like man, you can understand it. You can because like listen, white women they got their own bullshit with them, but sisters are. More, um, their moron, their moronism is just—it's a different frequency, and it, it, it comes—it comes from a different frequency than, than glider women's more moronic. This comes from man. <laughs> Yo, Ak, in her mind, the cops should have just given him a summons and tell him to show up to court. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey man, um, when you feel like it, man, when you get a chance, man, stop by the court building, man. We want to talk to you. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? He shot three cops, and he's right there in that house. And they're supposed to just why they got the tree blocked off? Why do you think? Like <laughs> this whole diatribe right here, this is the typical woman from these. This is not an outlier. This is not like, oh, she's just violent. This is typical black woman in D.C. Typical, run of the mill. Apparently, things like this happen in the city. Oh, for sure. But I will tell you this: things do happen like this. Not necessarily the police getting shot, but people get shot. And when they do, we have never had the streets shut down like this. We have never had a hundred police. Hit the like button, continue to hit the like button, hit the PayPal, hit the Cash App, hit the Super Chat. Who's going to be the next Hot Fire, man? Hot Fire carried the channel for a month. Who's going to be the next Hot Fire, man? Who's going to step up? We need like 10 Hot Fires, man. And shout out to Hot Fire, man. So even, even when he's not donating, man. Salute to him, man. Salute to Christy. Salute to all the big time supporters that carry the channel, even when they don't donate. Make sure you hit the PayPal Cash App Super Chat. Support the channel, goddamn it. 46 years old. My son, he's seven days old. Officers, okay, telling us we cannot leave the, and everything like that. This is this with all the kids at school in the morning walking past seeing all these cops. We ain't never had this for our citizens who have got shot. So, yes, this is a matter for the police. They, they handle in their own. This is frustration from you, clearly. Can I ask you, what do you think is the, the solution to what's been going on in the city? I mean, I think that the police really need to have a better approach. I'm not saying that citizens is nothing wrong with them and they don't do no harm, because that, that is not true. But I, I do believe that the police need to have a better approach so that people understand when the police come, I'm not coming to lock you up. I'm not coming to harass you. I'm not coming to tell you how to live your life and where you can't go. We, I'm coming to help you. I'm coming to understand what is the problem and how I can really be a solution. The solution is to lock them up and don't let them out. Like, what the fuck? So, man, what's your problem? I'm, I'm having a real hard time um, kicking this carjacking habit, man. Uh, I just keep, every, every time I see an old lady getting in her car, I just go up to her and punch her in the face and take her car. <laughs> and the cop's supposed to go, the cop's supposed to put his, his hand on his shoulder. A like, young man. I want you to know I'm here for you. Just let it out. Like, I mean, what the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> hey, son, man, let me wash your feet for you. Her <laughs> life and where you can't go, where you, I'm coming to help you. I'm coming to understand what is the problem and how I can really be a solution. You know, I think that, that the police need to have a better communication, better relationship with the citizens, okay? It's too hostile, okay? What's your name, man? Asia. Asia, thank mm -hmm. you for your time. I also want A guy, another goddamn 97% sun woman named Asia. I'll say that's, that's disrespectful to the homeland. Right. Never met a girl named Africa. I think I met one girl named Africa. <laughs> Um, when I was at Roots Activity Learning Center, but just in regular black society, you never meet a chick named Africa. They always London, Milan, Asia. <laughs> I mean, shit like that. <laughs> I want to ask you, so you said they're telling you you can't leave. 
Yeah, so like I had to go to school this morning and I'm asking the officer like cuz I see that them they're blocking off the street. And like I said because three officers were shot and the guy's still right there in the house. This happened before, so I know how it go. When somebody gets shot, everything shut down. You cannot leave. There's been times I couldn't even leave out my own apartment because they're te they're saying it's a scene. So I'm asking him, can I leave? And he's like, do you have, you know, your ID? I guess saying that you live on the street. So I was just like, I'm just going to stay home because I don't want to hassle to get back in my own house. You know, I don't want to have to leave my car down the street, have to walk, blah, blah, blah. So it is. It's a hassle. It's a hassle for the kids. It's a hassle for the people who live here. Yeah. Look, her, her her anger, her animus is towards the cops, not the guy who did it. <laughs> I was gonna say, you see how uh, selfish sisters are. She ain't worried yeah. about the three cops being shot. She just inconvenienced. How dare you inconvenience me? I'm trying to leave. <laughs> yeah, she ain't asked, are they all right? Did they survive? Are they dead? She doesn't care. And they're the only, and listen, we've, how many videos have I done recently that's proved that no one even comes close to calling the cops more than Sun Sisters? I mean, even in their ballpark. It's just like the murder rates. Like, they up here and the next one is down here. Ain't nobody close to calling the police more than them. And she's yep. she's out here like bitching that they got the block blocked off. Okay, let's just think about it like this. Let's just say you don't give a fuck about the cops, right? There's a guy who just shot three cops who has 12 pit bulls in his home and is obviously in a state of some kind of fucking psychosis. Are you comfortable with the cops leaving and just clearing the scene and letting and letting him be for your children and your neighbors, people that you care about, your family members in that neighborhood? Like sisters, they don't have that gene where they can think about things um, rationally. Because at least some men, some men, we have a little bit of logic because we're men. They got all the sun traits with zero logic. <laughs> yeah, she can't see Crazy. past the future. She, she's only living in the now. Right now, those pit bulls aren't bothering me. Right now, that's exactly. Like shooting me. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Those pit bulls are not mauling me and ripping me limb from limb, so everything's all good. Um, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Salute to um, Arbo, man. Um, E.R. Boat and salute to Robert, not to be confused with Latoya, the destroyer. Can't trail. Salute to Deluxe 247, aka Cal Ripley, aka the real MVP. Coming through once again. Says happy birthday. Salute. Salute to the MVP man, yo, Ak. If one of her one of her kids got shot along with the three cops and nobody came to check on her, man, she'd be tight. But no, no tears, tears though. It still, it still wouldn't be no tears. <laughs> <laughs> it would be the same amount of tears as it is now, man. She would be a she. She might. She would be feeling it, but it just wouldn't be no tears. You know, you got to find a better way. Thank you very much for sharing your experience with us. We appreciate it. And she think what she said was hella deep. Like she walked off, like dropped the mic. She feel like, um, you know what I'm saying? She feel like MLK, man. When he walked off the stage at the I Have a Dream speech, man. She feel good with saying that shit. Uh, Steve, if you can hear me, Marissa, if you can hear me in there. So this is what's going on here at the staging area uh, by 46th and Benning uh, in Southeast DC. 20 years ago, a high school diploma in hard work oh, work meant a ticket. Back to that shit. We ought to get back to that some other time. But yeah, um, listen, man. Uh, man, I tell you, man. Um, sons, man, they're terrible people. Okay, let's see what else is going on over here. 
uh, police chief of APS, uh, Chief Applin, as well as uh, Major Woolfolk will give you more details about the specifics of the incident and where we stand right now. We do know uh, four young people were shot uh, here on campus and that they are uh, non-life-threatening injuries and they're at Grady at this time in stable condition. Uh, our hearts go out to these families and to these young people as they uh, we hope for a speedy and full recovery real soon. And we also uh, intend to use all the resources